Hello and welcome to a lecture series on computer networking. In this lecture, I will explain about three important concepts about computer networks. Second is its classification, how we classify computer network. And the third is its topology, how we arrange the computers. So let's first start with computer network. What is computer network? Definition. Two or more devices which are communicating with each other through some media are called computer network. When we have two or more devices, more than two devices, and it can communicate with each other, then we call it computer network. Second definition would be a system of interconnected computer and peripheral devices are called computer network. It can connect computer, scanner or printer. We define media. So we media can be two types, guided media and unguided media. In guided media, we have wired, wired, wire unguided media is wireless, we don't use any wire, wireless. Second is types of computer networks, so we have basically two types of computer network, peer to peer network and client server based computer network, so peer to peer network. Peer-to-peer -peer network is created when two or more PC are connected and share resources without without going through a separate server computer. It is also called P2P network. When you have two or more than two computers and it's connected with each other without any centralized computer and it creates a network, we call it peer-to-peer -peer network. It shares resources among each other. It's very simple type of computer network, peer-to-peer -peer network and use in a small area. This is the example of peer-to-peer -peer network. For example, computer A and computer B, they are connected with each other and they share resources with each other. For example, if we have in this computer, we have some some movies and we, we are sharing this movies to this one. So it, we make peer-to-peer -peer network and we can access the movies which is placed, placed here and we can access from this computer. Next is client server network. A computer network in which one centralized powerful computer called a server is a hub to which many less powerful personal computers or workstations called client are connected. The client runs program and access data that are stored on the server. In this case, server are providing the services. In the other workstation, they are connected with this powerful computer which is called server. client server network for example this is we have this one is powerful computer which is called server it provides services to these personal computer or this powerful computer and here the resources are located at centralized location in a server while in peer-to-peer -peer network there is no centralized location but they communicate or they share resources among each other here we have a dedicated server in which we keep all our resources and it is shared through this server Advantage of computer network. So now the question is why we need computer network. So there are many advantages that's why we use computer network. The first major advantage of using computer network is to share resources. First of all, we share resources. Resources can be hardware or software. I mean it can be for example hardware means printer for example. Software means it can be program, something like this. The use of network is in business side. We need computer network in business side. Network are used for advertising, production, shipping, planning, billing and accounting purposes. These are the various business side application of computer network. In addition to this network are being used in home as well as for example to switch and control different devices from one place. For example now we have limited IP IP address when we use IPv4 address but when we use when, when, when we start IPv6 we will have plenty of IP addresses and we can we can use these IP addresses to control and communicate each and every device in our home. We can remotely connect with these devices and we can control, we can switch on and off these devices. Network are very much useful at governmental level as federal government, local government and military organization use network for communication purposes. These organization uses computer network for their communication purposes. For example, there is e-government, 
e-government concept uh, in which you just enter your id card and id card number and you can you can see all your detail about um, about uh, your family your personal detail and everything related with you so this is concept of e-government in education we have online libraries which we we can visit at our home pc this is all just due to the network this is all possible because of the computer network we can use the like this library which is located far away from us and we are sitting at our home and we can use these resources and this is due to computer network so these are some of the advantage due to which computer network are essential and very important for us now the next concept is how we classify computer networks so computer network are classified by four factor which are as follows by size by connectivity by medium by mobility we can classify computer network by size how bigger size is small large medium by connectivity what kind of connectivity we have wired one wireless one medium we can also use by medium which kind of media we are using to classify network by mobility it is mobile or not so i will use first the size one because it is the most important one so different network based on size are personal area network which we call pen local area network lan metropolitan area network or main wide area network which we call wan so let's discuss this one by one personal area network a personal area network or pen is computer network organized around an individual person within a single building for example we are sitting at one room and are some some small building and the things which are surrounding are the, the belonging which we have these are connected to us through pen this could be inside a small office or home a typical pen could include one or more computer telephone peripheral devices video game console and other personal entertainment devices let me show the diagram for example this is this these devices we can connect with each other in a small geographical area and it make it make a personal area network because it is the personal belonging of yours next we go to local area network a local area network or lane consists of a computer network at a single site lane we have in a single building or single st story building typically in a usual office building lane is very useful for sharing resources such as data storage and printers we can we can share resources such as data storage and printers lane can be built with relatively inexpensive hardware such as hub switch network adapter and ethernet cable we can we can build small lane through less expensive devices for example hub by hub we can connect different computer switch network adapter and ethernet cable The smallest lane may only use two computer, while largest lane can accommodate hundreds of computer. A lane typically relies mostly on wired connection for increased speed and security, but wireless connection can also be a part of lane. High speed and relatively low cost are the defining characteristics of lane. Now, we can have the smallest lane by combining two computer with each other, but. large lane we have hundreds of computer which are connected with each other through switches we use switches and in this we connect different computer to each other and we form a large network which we call local area network in a single building a lane typically relies mostly on wired connection it is mostly wired one but because of the speed and security but wireless connection can also be a part of lane but we can also build or we, we we can have also apart from wired one we can we can access wireless connection as well through the lane high speed and relatively low cost are defining characteristics of lane this is the high speed because we have high speed and relatively low cost of these are the two defining characteristics of lane that's why lane is very important this is a diagrammatic representation of lane for example we have this file server mail server print server printer we share and these are different computer 
Next, we go to metropolitan area network. A metropolitan area network are main consists of computer network across an entire city. While LAN is just confined to single building, but metropolitan area network is, is confined to a, an entire city, college campus or small region. A main is larger than a LAN. Main by size is larger than LAN, which is typically limited to a single building or site, because LAN is limited to just single building. Depending on the configuration, that type of network can be cover an area from several miles to tens of miles. For example, in main we can have only just um, it can cover area several miles to tens of miles. A main is often used to connect several lanes together to form a bigger network. Sometimes we we have for example multiple lanes and we combine these and we we make a bigger lane, which we call metropolitan area network. When this type of network is specially designed for college campus, it is sometimes referred to as a campus area network or CAN. Sometimes in a big campus, for example, we have different departments and we use we, we use to connect these different departments with each other. So this is this is in that case we call it a campus area network or CAN C A N campus area network. This is the example of main. For example, we have this one, one lane, another lane, another lane, another lane, and another lane. And these are connecting with each other and, we, and it form a one large network which we call main. This can be one department, this can be another department, this can be another department, this is another department, this is another department. For example, in each department we have a small lane and these lanes are connected with each other through centralized way to one large network which, which make a main or central area campus area network can wide area network a wide area network or when occupies a very large area by size it is very large larger than main such as an entire country we can an entire country can make a when our entire world or the whole world can make a big lane a big area a big network with which we call WAN. A WAN can contain multiple smaller networks such as LAN or MAN. Now WAN can occupy multiple small networks such as LAN or MAN. Are these LAN and MAN that combine together and we and make a bigger network which is called WAN. The internet is the best known example of a public WAN. Internet is the, big, the best example of WAN, wide area network. For example, this is we have one network this is another network this is another network and these are combined and we make a bigger network which is called when now coming to the third important concept network topology in communication network a topology is a schematic representation of arrangement of a network including its node and connection line how we can arrange nodes or computer to each other Let's define the network topology or the physical way the computer or nodes connect with each other is called topology. How the computer and node are connected with each other through physical way we call it topology. Let's discuss some of them. First of all, bus topology. In the bus network topology, every bus station is connected to main cable called the bus. Every com computer is connected with the main cable which we call bus. For this purpose, coordination is required to, to decide which computer has to use the line at what time. But here is what one problem because we we are using one line, so we have to decide which computer is using that line at n at what time. In bus topology, each computer is directly attached to one another through the main cable or bus. The network needs fewer wires than a star. Star is another network topology. I will discuss it later. However, entire network is disabled when a cable cut occur, but the disadvantage is that if a cable cut occur, entire network can be disabled or dysfunctioning. This is the diagrammatic representation of bus network. For example, we have this one node, this is another, this is another, this is another, this is another node or computer. But the problem is if cut occur or cable cut from here, the entire network is disabled. But the one advantage is that it require less wire because it use this dedicated wire which we call bus 
Next is ring topology. In the ring network topology, the workstation are connected in a closed loop configuration. Yeah. Nodes or computer are connected in a closed loop, some sort of loop. That's why it's called ring. Adjacent pair of workstation are directly connected. For example, if we, we have one node here and one node here, they are directly connected to each other. Other pair of workstation are indirectly connected. The data passing through one or more intermediate nodes. For example, here we have another node, so it passes data from here to here. This is intermediate node. The ring topology are logically ring, but physically it may not be resemble like ring. These are these resemble like ring logically but physically it may not resemble like a ring exactly it should not be like a ring it is easy to coordinate access to other computer however entire network is disabled if a cable cut occur but the same disadvantage is like the bus topology here as well for example if a cut here occur all the network will be disabled or dysfunctioning let me show the diagrammatic representation of ring network we have one node here one node here they are directly connected with each other and this this node and this node are connected indirectly through this network this node but again we have less required less wire here but again the same problem if cut occur at this point all the network will be disabled another type of topology is mesh topology the mesh network topology implies either of two scheme called full mesh and partial mesh now mesh can be we further divide it into fully mesh and partial mesh as the name indicate in full mesh topology each workstation is connected directly to each of the other every workstation is connected to each other directly in full mesh in the partial mesh topology some workstations are connected to all other and some are connected only to those other nodes with which they are exchanged the most data but in partial mesh some of computer or node are connected directly to each other but some of them are indirectly connected to each other in which they are communicating less. This is a full mesh topology. Next we have tree topology. The tree network topology uses two or more star network. When two or more than two star network combined, it makes a topology, we call it tree topology. The central computer of the star network are connected to a main bus. The tree network is a bus network of star network. It is a blend of topology of star and bus. This is diagrammatic representation of tree. Tree network are mesh. Star topology. In the star network topology, there is a central hub or server to which all the workstations are directly connected. Here we have a central hub or server to which all the workstations are directly connected. Every workstation is individually connected to every other through the central hub. In this, in this we have every computer it is direct, indirectly connected with each other through this intermediate device which we call hub or switch. The network are not like a star shape, it may be irregular but uh, but their connection just look like a star. In reality it should not be resemble like a star but its connection is just look like a star. That's why it's called star topology and star topology is the most commonly used topology of all the network. In terms of cost of why it takes more wire then bus topology but only one computer is affected when a cable cut occur. Now it has it has one disadvantage it requires more wires than bus. But the advantage is that only one computer is affected when a cut cable cut occur but when there is cable cut occur at this network only one computer or node is affected while the the rest of the computer is the rest of the network is function properly. This is Turn it for topology in here central node it may be hub or switch and this we have nodes attached to each other through this hub or switch and they are communicated with each other and make a star shape topology we call it star topology that's it for today lecture see you in the next lecture